All right, here we are. It is Saturday, February 29th. Uh, I was doing some stuff off camera. <clears throat> I was trying to get the surface kind of cleaned of all the old gasket material. And I got about halfway through with it and I kept hitting tap it gallery, whatever you want to call that panel on the side. And last time before the nightmare happened, I was going to try and take that off. I think today is a good day to take that off and change the gasket, clean up what I can on the engine, put a new gasket on there and torque it to the right specs. We're gonna try and do that. We're gonna try and clean up a little bit. And if I'm lucky, maybe put the water pump on today. I gotta start knocking out as much as I can. So I need to get this done. So we're basically at the rebuild state. I'm gonna get started real quick, set the camera up and see what we can do. Basically today, what I'd like to accomplish for sure is coming right in here, getting the cap off here and this bracket and try to get this panel off because you see it's already got some surface rust. I'll try to get it painted, put a new gasket, but I got a new gasket. I'm gonna try and get this thing off, replaced, put back on. Once I get that off, actually I'm gonna try and finish cleaning, remount this, and then try to get this water pump on. All right, let's do it. All right. When I first bought the truck, it was leaking real bad back here, so that's why I originally changed it out. And in my previous video, I mentioned as a learning curve, it took a while to figure out what I was doing and torqued it way off spec. So hopefully this is even straight. Okay. I believe, how did I get this bracket off last time? If you look underneath, you see these two bolts. Holds it on. Unplug. Get that out of the way the best we can. So underneath the ignition coil, we're gonna be two half inch. So underneath the ignition coil, we're looking top down at it. Come underneath here. Let's get these two bolts out. Okay, we got one loose. Okay, we cracked them loose. Let's see if we can get them off. There's one uh, right there. This one needs a little more love. Okay, there goes the bracket. See it moving a little bit? This is the second bolt. There she is. Just kind of drop this out of the way for right now. And it was bolted right here. There's one hole, there's two. So now I need to come work my way this way See if I can get this bracket out of the way. We're flipping view, looking towards the cab. Let's get this wiring harness here out of the way. Underneath here, this is one bracket to the actual tappet gallery. And there's one more right beside it. And that actually also holds oil dipstick too. Well, let's start getting these out of the way. What size are these bolts? These are half inch also, okay good. I'm just gonna push everything out of the way. Okay. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, okay. So I might have told y'all wrong. So undoing that one that we just did, your oil dipstick goes to that one, and then there's another bracket one at the very back. Let's snake in here. Come on, baby. There we go. There we go. That should free this bracket out of the way. We're just gonna push it out of the way. Let's get to this guy somehow. Got it. You know, they say do this, do that. There you go. Boom. I'm gonna bend it out of the way. Move up one right here. That one, the last one, will be underneath this bracket. And the burritos are here. Oh, perfect. I'll come over there and get it in a second. There it is. All right, now with those all free, you hear that? With all those bolts free and all the brackets out of the way, there it is. It's still really clean. All right, we're gonna have to clean up in here 
because I got some debris on the lifters. And what you get is you end up getting these these grommets that come with this cork gasket. That's what we're going to replace today. Okay, so we got this off. It actually isn't bent too bad. And last time I did this, I cleaned it off the inside real good. Not knowing that I'll probably need to paint this. You see the surface rust. We'll pop all these grommets out. Oh man, I did a number with that. That's why it ain't leaking no more. And we'll get this old gasket off. And then we can replace it. The replacement comes with new, new, uh, new grommets, washers, all that. And that's what the cork gasket looks like. So let's go ahead and get this stuff off of here. And luckily, it's actually pretty straight. So. That's not too bad. It's a dead ladybug. If you have a dead ladybug, isn't that bad luck? I'm sure I'm not supposed to be scratching the surface and blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Gaskets off. Let's clean this up. Well, there's about 20 minutes I'll never get back out of my life. Get this on. I feel like Cody on White Duck Productions right now trying to restore an antique. I don't know how you have the patience for this, brother. By the way, check out his channel if you haven't already. I'm going to put it link in the description to him. Uh, Jason at uh, Sparks Fire and Bailing Wire. Another great uh, channel. He's doing restoration on a tractor right now. Really interesting stuff. Good channel. Startup channel. So go over there and, and check it out. It's awesome. If you haven't seen him, Zane over at HodgePodge Dodge Garage. Uh, another great channel. Um, everything will be down in the description. Check that out though if you have not. These are great channels. I want to give them a shout out while I could. Back to this nightmare. That's about good enough. So let's spray it down, brake clean, primer, and paint it. Alright, let's go back with the black. While the paint's drying, I'm going to try and get in here. I'm just knock down a little bit of this grease on the outside. Paint drying in the wind. What I'm end up doing is coming here on the water pump. Coming here where I'm out the water pump. I just try to get some of this old gasket material off of here. Well, the way I see it. Is once that is dry enough, I'm going to reinstall the Tappet Gallery uh, cover. And I may try to put this water pump on today. I think that might be the best bet. If I can do that, then I can put some of the shit back together and go from there. All right, let's see what I got as far as the water pump goes. Because if I can get that bolted up. Actually... Actually, on second thought, while we're getting this all ready, we'll probably need to go ahead and get the uh, gasket set on this cover so it can at least cure a little bit while we're doing the other job. Oh, my hand is literally cramping up from that. I need to do is I'm just going to put a little dab around this okay let that cure all right battery went dead so we're going to make sure the mating surfaces for the gasket and everything are going to be clean from the out of the box and now I'm going to try and bolt this bad boy in tonight I'm gonna try the blue. I don't. I just don't. I don't think this. 
that calls for a, all that ultra black. Or I could be wrong. I don't know. God damn. Oh, cool. Put my respirator on for this one. Let's start it. Just kind of getting them snug there. God willing, I just started it. No, oh, it's tight. Oh, thank God. The torque on these bolts is supposed to be between 12 and 21 foot pounds. There it is. Hey, new water pump. Which means now. Okay, which means that now we can put this back on. Okay, so how do I get in here? It's in there, but, oh shoot. Thanks, Leaf. Let me see if I can get to the side and do this better. Let's see if we can. I think at least we're kind of holding it with that one. Come in here. Okay. Met right behind the distributor. There it goes. Let's go ahead and get the back one. Because it's the second part of this bracket. Into the grommet. I'm sorry if you cannot see. I can't do nothing about that. So now let's come up to your dipstick. Has a bracket. I got to kind of bend back into place. And then straight in there. Which puts us on our last bolt that is underneath the bracket. It's underneath here. I got it in there. Snug. Okay, it's on there as best we can get. I think my torque wrench is messed up. Okay. Okay. That's it. Camera's running low on battery. I'm running low on motivation. Uh, Tappet gallery gasket changed and the cover's painted. Uh, water pump's on, new gaskets, everything's installed. So we actually got to put some parts on. That's great. I probably should have waited to do the water pump to after I got the cylinder head in place, but I just wanted to go ahead and sit and cure before I do anything else because I don't know when I can get to the cylinder head. Uh, off camera, uh, I cleaned the surfaces on the uh, the block pretty good. It looked pretty much ready to put put the uh, put that heavy thing on. I don't know if you can see it. <clears throat> this is my the new one. It's in here. Uh, I got a little contraption. I, I tried to rig up. I don't know if you saw it in the background. I tried to do a video on it, and it, it all it just didn't work out real well. Anyway, um, I'm going to cut this one short. I said it in the middle of the video, I'll say it again. Check out the description below. Uh, there's going to be three great channels worth watching. They really are good. Hodgepodge Dodge Garage, uh, Sparks Fire Bailing Wire, and Wide Duck Productions. If you did watch it to the end, I do appreciate it. And as always, I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye.